In 2020, after the lockdown and with a new baby plus a toddler, I decided to start working from home. Maybe I got too used to being at home, but I successfully built a thriving home-based business. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 tips for starting a successful home-based business. And I hope that the information that you get here encourages and guides you to put all your excuses aside and go for your dream. I know starting a business can be intimidating. Trust me, I've been there severally and I know exactly how it is. So don't worry, just watch this video till the very end. I've got you covered. These tips will help you start your journey with a bang and I promise to keep it light, entertaining and straight to the point. Tip number one, treat your business like a business, not a hobby. This is super important when it comes to working from home or setting up a home-based business. Having worked from home for the past two years and comparing it to when I used to work for my brick and mortar office, I can tell you free of charge that working from home requires a whole new level of discipline. So sure, working from home can be fun, you know, you have your time, but don't forget that you're here to make that money. It's not just about the hype of being a young CEO, your own boss chick, entrepreneur and all of that. If you don't treat it seriously, you won't get the same results that you're expecting. Stop treating it like a hobby you might as well save yourself the heartache and just get a nine to five tip number two create a dedicated workspace i know it's tempting to work from your bed like just wake up and go to work but trust me it won't end well you need a designated area where you can focus and get into the zone of work you don't have to like straight away get an office or clear up a room you can just clear up a particular section of your house but you want to wake up every day with that mindset that you're going to work if it takes having a bath or putting on a little bit of makeup or dressing up if it's going to give you that vibe then go for it it doesn't have to be anything extra but it will increase your productivity in the long run tip number three have a business plan okay i know some of you don't want to hear it it sounds boring but let me tell you you still need to do that even in 2023 it's so essential if you want to hit your target market competition you have to have a strategy it's just like having a roadmap to success if you get lost you know where to find yourself you don't want to be lost in a sea of confusion if you'd like me to talk more about this having a business plan let me know in the comment section tip number four don't be afraid to ask for help starting a business can be overwhelming let me tell you it's a lonely place to be the road to the top is lonely reach out to friends family or even hire a coach go to people that have done what you want to do or have gotten the results that you want to get it's okay to ask for help and it might even save you some heartache, okay? Tip number five, don't neglect your social life. This has to do with your work-life balance and I'm going to talk about this in a separate video, so watch out for that. But it's easy to get so lost in work when you're working from home because sometimes you can be in your house for so long and forget that there are other people in your life and you need to understand that building relationships can start to seem like a lot of work because it is. So go out, have some fun, take time with your family and friends and recharge your batteries okay you come back to work feeling refreshed and ready to tackle anything tip number six and i love this learn to manage your time i mentioned earlier that discipline is super important because when you're working from home it's easy to get distracted so you need to manage your time effectively if you're a mom like me everything and anything will distract you but if you want to be successful you need to learn how to manage your time effectively so it doesn't clash with other priorities. Set goals, create a schedule and stick to it. And if you have trouble staying on track, use an alarm clock, it works like magic. Tip number seven, keep your finances in check. You need to learn the basis of accounting. Like what is a capital? What is profit and loss? And how can you control this to your benefit? Another thing I find helpful is keeping my personal account separate from my business account. That way at the end of every month, I can simply go to my business account statement and use it to balance my books. Starting a business can be expensive. So you want to make sure you're tracking your finances, create a budget, stick to it. Avoid the urge for early gratification because I know that you may feel you have worked hard but avoid splurging to compensate yourself. Focus on reinvesting into your business and as it grows you can enjoy more things. Tip number eight, find a mentor. You don't want to go through life 
learning from only your own experiences. You can learn faster through other people's experiences. Trust me, it's always good to have someone who has been there and done that. A mentor can give you valuable advice and help you avoid making costly mistakes. It's always good to have someone who is in your corner, who believes in you, who keeps you accountable and pushes you to become your best. Tip number nine, stay organized. When you're working from home or running a home-based business, it's easy for things to get messy, okay? Keep everything neat, declutter your workspace, and keep track of your to-do list. Trust me, it will make your life so much easier. And as your business grows, start working on building systems in place that can help you to grow and be more productive. If you would like an in-depth video on building systems and structure for your business growth, do let me know in the comments. Section. Tip number 10, celebrate your wins. You're here watching this. That is a win. You started that business. That is a win. You've made your first sale. That is a win. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate your successes, no matter how big or small they are. Celebrate your first 100 followers as much as you celebrate 10,000 followers. Starting a business can be tough and it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day struggles and big goals. But let me tell you, take a moment to pat yourself on the back for a job well done to help you stay motivated and focused on your goals okay my baby is up i have to wrap this up talking about goals my current goal is to reach as many business owners as possible that can benefit from this video so hit the like button if you found value from this video so more people can benefit from this video also subscribe for more content like this and drop your suggestions questions and contributions in the comment section and there you have you guys our top 10 tips for starting a successful home-based business i hope you found this tips helpful remember starting a business is all about taking risks so learn from them and grow into the best version of yourself i love you all see you in my next video